hey there what's up guys welcome to blender Wiz. and today we're gonna learn this quick animation which is this one and we'll be using rigid bodies and a cell fracture property so not wasting our time let's get started so i'll open a new file and this i'll just delete all of this so before starting with our animation i'll just quickly show you what is rigid body and what is cell fracture so i'll show you one demonstration so first i'll add a sphere uv sphere and then i'll add the cell fracture property in it so to enable it just go into edit preferences and then search for cell fracture and just enable it so once you have done it you can just select the object go into this object and quick effects cell fracture so you can see this there are various options over here so we are not going to change anything the source limit is basically the number of pieces you want and you can increase the noise and so we'll just keep it as it is and I press ok so you can see there we have this just give me yeah so we are ready we have this cell fractured property uh, applied on this sphere so the next thing we do is we go into the physics pro uh, yeah physics property and then we select rigid body and we keep it as it is we keep it active and now we have to apply this to everything that like all the cells like you can see that there are 100 spheres over here now so to add this property to all the 100 spheres we go into the object then rigid body and we select copy from active now it has been just applied to all the spheres and now if you play the animation you can see it just burst everything just burst so now you can just delete the sphere and now if you play the animation you can see it. the sphere is just falling down so we quickly add one plane oh first I'll, yeah we could add one plane scale it and we just grab it a little down over here yeah and now we add rigid body to the plane as well so we add and we change the type to passive and that's it so now if we play the animation you can see this this stuff so this is basically the cell fracture effect it just cuts the object into pieces and this rigid body is basically acts as a strong body or gives a mass to the object so this is what we're gonna do so i'll quickly open a new file and we'll start with our animation a new file don't save all right and we just delete each all of this now we'll start by ma making our chain which will hold our breaking wall so we add a torus and we go into top view then we go into the edit mode and just select this this part and then we grab it along the y axis oh yeah something like that So we have the basic shape 
and then we also add the material simultaneously so we add a new material and we give it a black color <coughs> so now you can see we have this one piece of chain so i'm going to a front view rotate at 90 degrees along the x-axis all right and then we just duplicate this so shift d z-axis place it rotate it along the uh, wait. Uh, yeah rotate it along the z-axis to 90 degrees yeah so now we just duplicate both this and we will have a chain so select both the objects shift d z axis yeah then shift d z axis shift d again and one more all right so we are done with our chain now we add a rigid body to it so select any one of this torus and then go into the physics properties and click on rigid body <coughs> and what you have to do is just change this shape into mesh and now it has been applied to only one of the chain so to apply it to all just go into the object rigid body and cop uh, first select all of this then object rigid bodies and copy from active so now you can see we have this it just fall down falls down and then okay so we also add one plane Okay, but before this, we'll just grab it a little up and then we add a plane. Scale it. And we also add a rigid body to this plane. So rigid body and passive. Okay, so now if you play the animation, so this is what is happening which is good so the next thing we do is we just move it a little more up and yeah the next thing we do is we add a sphere that is our breaking ball so shift a then uv sphere scale it just grab it place it over here perfect and now we also add a material to it so i'll add one texture so image texture and then i have this texture already downloaded with me which is a metal texture so i add that to the sphere so it looks this now perfect we also add the texture to the plane so face color image texture and this one perfect so we have this now all right so yeah now if you play the animation ah uh, so first we have to join this sphere to this chain so to do that select the sphere as well as the torus and press ctrl j so this will basically join it and now you can see this perfect
so now what we have to do is we don't want all this to fall down you know because we want this wrecking ball to swing and we want this chain to be steady at one place so before this we'll just set the origin to the center so this origin basically acts as the center of gravity so just select this right click set origin origin to geometry okay now then select the top topmost torus which will be steady all the time so that this chain won't fall down and then we go into the rigid body and just untick this dynamic and now if we play it doesn't fall down okay perfect so the next thing is we give this a swing like we want this so i'll set the origin over here or the arc 3d cursor over here so shift right click and then set this to 3d cursor select everything select this and then we rotate so over here somewhere and yeah now if we play we can have that swing to our wrecking ball which looks good yeah and so you can also increase the mass of this ball you can see here if we select the sphere you can see the mass option over here yeah which is just one kg that is too light for a wrecking ball so i'll make it 10 and you can see this mass of the chain chain also here which is one kg which looks which is perfect okay so we are done with our wrecking ball the next thing we have to do is we have to use our cell fracture property so by using that we'll be creating wall so yeah i'll place this 3d course over here and then i'll add a cube to make a wall scale it and yeah then scale it along the y axis to make it thin uh, not y let's scale it along the x axis this one okay this looks good a little much thinner okay and yeah scale this a little bit more perfect and now we add our cell fracture property so we have our object select now oh, first we'll subdivide it by going into the edit mode subdivide 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 all right now we come back into our object mode and then we select this object then quick effects and cell fracture so i'll again keep all these settings as it is i'll quickly press ok and we can see our cell fracture is just been generating and yeah all right and then perfect and then we quickly add a rigid body to it so rigid body all right and you can see the dynamics option over here this all right I don't know how to click it okay yeah and you can see the deactivation option here uh, I don't know why it's not clicking okay and then just press deactivation 
and start your deactivate so now you can just apply it to now uh, apply it to all the pieces as i said it it has been just applied to one piece now so to apply it go to into the object rigid body copy from active okay so now it's been copied to all the pieces and yeah now we just delete our cube it is delete perfect and yeah we are almost done we'll just align this in to our plane so we select this grab it along the z-axis and grab it along the x-axis and to make multiple wall we just duplicate it so shift d x shift d x all right so i hope they are aligned properly i guess no graph along the y axis yeah somewhere over here let's see all right we have to just place it properly so first we'll just hide this plane first we'll hide it and then align all this properly so we select this and we grab it along the y-axis over here and then we select this as well okay select both of this and grab it along the y-axis grab y okay so now they are properly aligned so we unhide our plane and yes and now you can see if you play the animation we have this perfect and they are just too far away let's align it properly perfect so yeah now we add lighting to it so we'll just add a sun so shift a light and sun okay okay yeah this looks perfect now let's see change the background color to black okay and we just rotate this one i guess this is okay this looks perfect so we hide the overlay and now if we play the animation boom that is cool all right yeah so this is it for the video you can just go and render the animation as i have shown this in the in my previous videos how to render the animation in my meteor video i have shown it so yeah i this is it for the video i hope you like the video if you like it then please subscribe my channel and also hit that like button so thank you so much for watching